a team of uh, three of your different characters to battle battle other battle the businesses we'll have a weekly collab raid boss where your family scores are going to get tallied uh and the the weekly enemy is going to be a collab character from another artist and then the long term the long term project goal is to build out a, a, a 3D city and to have a gameplay style that's a cross between Among Us and Metal Gear. So you'll be sneaking around in the city in the nighttime trying to figure out who's who is on what team and if they're on your family you want to work together to accomplish your tasks, protect your dawn and whack the other families. Uh, and always be watching your back. <laughs> so there's a lot there's a lot coming. It's broken down into very, uh, very small uh, steps so that we can continue to deliver content uh, and al always have something for people to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotta... so I got it in the queue. Nice. Awesome. Okay. How do we current... oh, so do I have to do anything else to make it go to the active, or it will go on its own? That's it for now. It'll go. Yeah. It'll become active when we start it. Okay, so it says in queue, exit queue. Yep. Just close it out. And do I have to pick one to attack, or it all? No, none of them say defend. It all says attack. Well, it, that's correct. Cause... We're, we're not started yet. So once he kicks yeah. it off, then we'll we'll do it all turn based. Yeah. Oh wait. Ah. Uh... Yep. I'll let you guys know. Yeah. I'll I'll be narrating the game as we go. Yeah. So usually it's not Sweet. Blitz. The only time we've ever done Blitz is D Digicon. The last one and then this one. Usually they have one turn a day and it's like a long, more of a long form type of game. Like one yeah. action a day. Here we're going to do one action every couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to power through it really quickly. Okay, um, let's get it started. We got 23 in the queue right now. Nice. So that, I am live streaming if you wanted to... I'll awesome. tell your, your whoever to watch Consumer Ray. It's not like we have a bunch of viewers or nothing, but he can totally see it. And if Captain does make it here, and if he keeps streaming, it's up to him. Then I'll raid over to him. We'll let him do it. There you are. I had spelled your name wrong. I couldn't. I couldn't find your Twitch stream, but it's because I typed it in wrong. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, about that. <laughs> My bad. Who's that guy? that guy all right uh yeah let's get it started and if you it's oh i can't do it i want i want to put the music on but it's so loud actually let's <laughs> see if you guys, you guys can hear this oh. <laughs> wait i did that come through at all no i'm not hearing it Okay. No, but I, I turned it on on mine, and it's good music. It is. I, lo oh, I love the track. It's. I gotta figure out how to turn it down though. It's so loud. <laughs> I can't yeah, hear anything else. <laughs> okay, we're just about to get started. Uh, Seventy four is gonna join your stream, and I'll let you know when the first the first turn goes. And I'll be sending. I'll be sent. I'll do, be doing a draw and sending out some packs to uh, the members of the winning families at the end of the event. So I recorded uh, the wallets that won yesterday. We're gonna play another game. Okay, so you you have the wallets of the winners. I was gonna say like, because I wanted I want to give a reward too to the winning family uh, from sure. our, from our collection. A pack okay. a pack of one base card to everyone from the winning family. I thought we would have to like say who we were, but then we can <laughs> we don't actually know. But I guess you do actually know. So great. <laughs> I don't I don't know oh, ahead cool. of time. Yeah, right. Afterwards, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I can. I can see it assigns ranks, and during the in the weekly game, um, those ranks actually give you a bonus to your earnings. So the oh. winning family, the winning family gets a bonus to their uh, staking collections and their shakedown earnings. And if a family wins more than once in a row, those ranks actually continue to increase. So I think the bonus, the total earnings bonus, is actually close to fifty percent if your family's won a couple of weeks in a row. Wow, I haven't been. I've been just too busy to be involved, but I, I'm glad. Do you have people playing every day regularly, putting in actions? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. And to be honest, every once in a while, something happens that I forget to cue myself, and I'm always so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't queued one. Awesome, Captain. We're just about to get started. Um, 
we're going to kick off our games. So if you want to jump in the queue, and Utopia, I see you just got here. Uh, if you want to jump in as well, we're going to get started. Give me another sec. Okay, thumbs up. Let's get started. <laughs> Only one sec. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's go. And what's going to happen if you guys can see my screen or if you can see it on, on Breakman's stream? Yeah, we're, I uh, guess we'll just watch. I got mine open. Perfect. Once so I announce it, that. you're going to want to hit your uh, refresh buttons, either the one in your, your um, wallet panel or the one just here above Enter Q. And let's get started. Double check that you're, you're in there. It's fine for me. Perfect. And on my in my Discord, I do actually have channels set up for each of the different families. So during the weekly game, people can strategize uh, between each other or um, anti-strategize with the other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or peep into the other <laughs> the other channels. The other yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I gotta get a hold of Gibbs. Gibbs is gonna help me set up uh, set up Tercero to allow me to really do that at a high level. Nice. Okay. I don't know what to do. I don't see it. There's nothing available to actions. Okay. So yeah, we're still not there. That's right. Um, everybody's going to have to refre refresh their client completely and side back it to get the game started. Yeah. Just go. I, for I forgot that. Otherwise, it leaves that text block up. Oh, right now text we're good to up. do that. All right. Yeah. So, so actually, that, that button. Uh... No, use a proper window refresh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one up here in your browser. Oh wow! But but during turns you use that one inside the game. Yep. So this is just to start a new game. Yep. Gotcha. Oh. It's it's oh, also yeah, it's also a work in progress. Like the especially yeah, yeah. this blitz mode has only been done like two digicons and <laughs> twice. So this is, but so this is good. This is a good thing of us people testing it, and then you guys can keep improving. Brooke, what That's is it. your family? You can't see. Oh, wait, I'm covering it with my hands, but nobody can see. I'm a member of the <laughs> Bell Pass A. <laughs> Me, I can see I am beat by his. You're Bell Pass. Make it in the queue. Yay. Well, nice. All right, so. Well, I'm getting an error, and I had mine queued, so I don't understand what's going what is, on. What is, what is your error? Uh, here, I'll share my screen real quick. Give a quick look. Okay, I'm good. I'm in here. Oh. Where are you at? Oh, here we See, go. See, it says Digicon Blitz, Blitz mode is starting to join Q oh. as soon as possible. Yeah. So hit the refresh on the main on your web, website browser. Yeah. Or hit oh, on my R. web. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Just just to one. just to start the game. Once we start each action, then you can use the inside reload button. Yeah. So everybody should be able to take their first action, pick a family to pick on, and. I got we got a few people in the stream. Shouts to Shinazi. Shouts to Blue Yo. Chainsaw Man. We're over at Digi and Skunky Chunks. We're over in uh, Digicon. Uh, the Doge Fellows booth. No, oh, Mister Tofu here. Yeah. And we're and we're about to start Doge Fellows Blitz. So if you don't want to play yourself and just watch, you can yeah, too. Here. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool if you want to play. All right. I'm here. I'm in one of the families. I'm not going to say who, but <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you see my defend button right there. That means that's my family. Now I can choose to for every action. Do we have our first action ready? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, now I can choose ahead. to either defend my own family or attack one of the others. And our life bar is up here. So uh, I'm gonna. If you want to advise, pick attack. Don't defend right now. Yeah. <laughs> well. I guess it's all. Uh, who knows what the strategy is? No, I wouldn't either, though. Unless you, your family starts attack me. dying. Mm hmm. Got controller. Uh, Shanti has a hard time joining through an endpoint. You just have to pick any one of them, right? It doesn't matter which one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Shanti. Um, so yeah, the, the the winning family, meaning the last one standing alive, will be getting some prizes from from our collection and I guess those two, huh? Yes, sir. That's what. That's what's up. Okay, 
We're gonna roll the turn, All and right. then we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll them every minute afterwards, and I'll announce them when, when I get told that the turn's been rolled. Okay, here we go. Nope. Battle time. <laughs> I'll tell. You, I'll I'll tell you. I'll announce through here when it's okay. when it's go go time. <laughs> And everyone, okay, round two is up. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like Gorgonzola took a bit of a beating. Oh man, Belfast, my family got hit hard. We took a lot of damage, we took 600 points. Everybody else got a little bit except the Margaritas. Oh, Brickman. What do you mean, oh. Belfast? Looks <laughs> like it's full life to me. We start, oh, there's more, there's one oh, more yeah. person. Um. The True. hit points currently still are determined by the amount of players in the family. So, oh. bigger, more active families, like if you think about it, that in the Mafia sense, there's more people, so they're going to have more hit points. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which means other families are going to need to Which gang up. Which means you got an, an mean, advantage I mean, then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people definitely shouldn't gang up on me. Uh, <laughs> right? Round two is active, so take your, take your turn. So that means you can see, like... Gorgonzola has taken well, four actions against you, is it? Yeah, each each one. Yeah, it looks um, like there's seven actions against Belpasse, but they're still up above because they have six members. So let's keep attacking them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. Uh, each, each action in this mode is 200 hit points. People in chat, you're welcome to come here at Digicon, Dogefellas booth. Hang out. Otherwise, you keep watching. We're playing Dogefellas Blitz. Yep. And I decided since I kind of got my crowd in late, scrambling, uh, just to throw to the confusion, anybody in Digicon, if you guys go to the Dogefellas Discord, I'm oh, gonna run two yeah. rumbles for some of the Discord, the Dogefellas. All packs. right. So All right. I'll be quiet I'll here on the background, but just know that that's going on here too. Yeah. Shut up. Awesome. <laughs> 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 round three is round three is up. So everybody hit refresh. All right. Yeah. And you'll get Captain Crew, by the way, I'm live streaming the game too. Just to, to just to see it live if you wanted to bounce around or something. Oh man. Wow, we getting we we getting wailed on. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna let everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Margaret is holding up good though. You guys are doing okay. And our our long term goal with this is also to have this set up so um streamers like yourself and and captain and everyone else who does streaming um can log into this and actually run these as separate event uh event games like you would run a grub fish or you could run you know any of those kind of things to uh, have these to have these uh active yeah. as well to be able to play that's awesome like as an on-stream game so Snazzy yeah, asked, is cool. Belpasse regaining health if anybody's hitting defend instead of attack defending their own family then they regain yep. health. But yep. also, also, Bell Passy has six members, so it's going to take more hit points for them. See how they, they have four... need to kill Margarita. <laughs> they got 4,200 4, 4, full health, and we all have 3,500. But Okay, so we don't have enough cheese family participating here because there's only been, like, very few actions. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm the only one taking the action, so I think I'm... Uh -oh. I feel like Fa I'm alone now. Family members, get in there, <laughs> help your family. Yeah. Don't don't let them hang out. <laughs> the last family standing wins prizes. All Rest, right. Round four is up. Round so four. Refresh. All right. You're right. I am. We are doing good over here at Margarita. Please stay away from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Skamorza, I see you over there. I see you with more yeah, hit points. Skamorza is attacking. <laughs> yep, and if you if you look right here yeah, underneath, underneath your uh, wallet panel, if you click this, you can actually see who's who has done damage to you, or and who you have done damage to. So damage yeah. taken is who's who's been hitting you, and damage dealt is who your family has done the damage to. Hmm. Oh man, <laughs> Margaret Keegan's has been coming after me. Wow. <laughs> Slim Z says, uh, "Come on, there's no password. Come, come over here, Slim Z, if you can." Not a lot. 
Utopia, I'm new to Dogefield, so can't help. Good luck. Well, good. That's no problem. You're learning then. I don't. Yeah, I don't need help. I'm just attacking. <laughs> hey, I'm doing pretty good. Whoever my family members are, we're doing pretty good over here. <laughs> you guys are doing great. You do better than me. <laughs> now y'all gonna my gang up though. My family with more members, more members than most action is just getting wailed on. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of how I wanted to feel. Like those bigger families should get ganged up on. All right, round five is up. Hit your refresh. Yeah, we gotta hit margaritas. Yeah, let's sure. get up. I'm down for that. I mean, <laughs> absolutely. Round five is up. Let's go. Margarita, come for you. All right. Uh -oh. Leave the stinky cheese family alone. She's standing uh -oh. all on her own. What you guys I hit know. me? I'm just here by myself. You hit us yep. last time. Oh. Yeah, except we, I was just going to say, you said that last time and then you won. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a ruse. Yesterday's a event, ruse. we were win we were up top all of, like pretty much a lot of the game, and the next thing you know, we were out first because everyone ganged up. <laughs> That's exactly you how bunch of, You bunch of whackers. You don't whack me <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> yep, that's exactly it. All right. Round six should be coming up any second. <laughs> that is the term they use, though. I guess they don't. They, you, that that off word is it kind of changes the meaning, but yeah, we're whacking, we're whacking families. <laughs> we are whacking families. Yep. <laughs> Let's do the updates. Okay. Yeah. And if anyone has any questions, uh, Utopia, uh, I will post the links again. If you want to grab some stuff. There's the link for the uh, oh, round six is up, so jump in there. That's the link for the drops. That's the link for the game. Uh, and the blitz mode dons are only used for blitz mode, and the other ones are good for for the rest of the games. Um, and I will be creating a blend at the end of Digicon for your blitz mode dons um, to use them if you don't want to keep them around. Awesome. Uh, round six is up, just in case I didn't announce that. So hit your refresh and take some actions. As it stands, Gorgonzola, 1220 hit points. Skamorta, 2260. Neapolitan, 2300. Valpasse, 2040. Margarita, 2100. Neapolitans are winning. I'm going to have to cut them down enough. Mm. I, I don't know. I heard they're good guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of rumor is that? <laughs> I'd say we have yes, Margarita's next. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's just yeah. cheese. Who's my brothers and cousins? I don't even know. It's cheese and four, salt. There's four well, others. <laughs> nobody know. No one knows. Nobody That's knows. Nobody. No one knows. All right, round seven is up. Hit your refresh. Ooh, Neapolitan took a hit there. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, I love how well, he announced that they're good guys, and we we just hit them straight away. <laughs> Round seven. I mean, you see the bus coming, just who anybody, just chuck him straight under. <laughs> hey, a quick note, too. The next event on the hour is over at my booth, and I got four prizes from Doge fellas that are not to be used just for Blitz. What are they? What What's in those packs? Um, I actually don't even remember what oh, I meant you. It's a character. It's oh a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which um, which was used how in the in the regular games, right? Those yeah, those are the standard mode characters. So they'll be used in uh, staking, shakedown, and uh, and your five families, not the blitz mode. Um, so those will give you awesome. full full access to to the full game. Um. Yeah, and, and like I was saying before, at this moment, that's a little bit more complicated uh, redemption procedure where you have to open your pack, head over to Nefty Blocks, run a blend, uh, and then open your pack again. But that's going to be something coming inside our client that's going to be uh, fully handled inside the client. So you'll be able to buy your packs with fellas in-game, open it, it'll automatically do that process for you, uh, and then you can go from there. So, uh, let's see. We should be just about to hit round eight, I think. The booth is in. Yeah, we're in the Nefty Blocks Hall. Yep. 
Okay, round eight is up. Can you refresh? Let's go. Oh, man. All right, Gorgonzola, no damage at 2220. Skamorza took a beating down to 1300. Yeah, Same as Neapolitan. Uh, Valpasse's 1240. And Margarita's holding strong at 1900. You guys are going wow. to kill cheesy, me this time. Need more cheesy family to participate. I'm the only <laughs> one here right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're, it looks like it. I, cause it'll, it shows you how many actions. So I can see there's seven actions of a ticket, so it is basically just you. So some people must have queued and then not come back. Well, we're leaving you be though. We're letting we're we're, we're being generous. <laughs> I need it's to I need to I need to uh, I need to uh, gear up a a lynch party for those people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some folks under a thousand. What we you are, gonna do? We are running to. I like how quickly. It feels like we've run through the hit points in this. Each turn feels like a lot of stuff went on. Oh, wow. Okay, round nine's already up. Hit your refresh. Let's see what happened this time. Ah, yeah, Gorgonzola, no damage. 860. Skamorza, under 1,000 at 980. Neapolitan, 1340. Bell Pass 8, 840. And Margarita holding strong, 1100. Those Neapolitan guys. Gotta, gotta get him down with everybody else. I, I envision this. This is like down at the docks, and everybody is hanging out. Like is that the Skamorza the guys? <laughs> Everyone hanging around with containers, like shooting each other, like old Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the setting, the setting, uh, the setting for the city will be 1920s New York. So that's Look always. Here, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mark, come on, she. We gotta, we gotta get the scamorches this time. She? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's, 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 there's going to be a metaverse in the future. He's got all these things planned to have like that style in the metaverse, and then at night it's espionage and you all fight each other in like a 3D game type of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. That'll be the Among Us uh, style. Okay, hold on. Round ten is up. So hit your refresh. Let's go. Yeah, there's a lot of different things I want. I want to incorporate um, a building game, building style game where uh, you can build in, build some furniture, decorate your apartment the way that you like, um, visit other people's apartments, shake other people's apartments down to introduce a little bit of PV, PVP style. And uh, in the city, I want to see. Oh man! Oh wow! I took a beating. Holy oh crap. boy! <laughs> I'm holding on by a thread. Um, and to see uh, the bottom, I want the bottom floors of our of our buildings to be basically a commercial space. So people will be able to take those spaces, develop them the way they want, and use them for things. If you want to run a coffee shop and sell some consumables that you're really good at building out of that, or if you want to exhibit some some other NFTs and and run an NFT store, if you want to have a little a little club where people come and throw DJ, throw raves or music events. I want those, all of those things to be usable. It's awesome. In this space. And I'm seeing that in, throughout this, this weekend when we're doing a bunch of other events, AMAs, I'm seeing that from some other games too, of creating yeah. like, yeah, it's like, it, I guess it's MMO, it's metaverse with also some gaming elements, but it's, it's ways for communities to hang out and play together on web three. It's freaking brilliant. So exactly, well, like, I guess we're gonna have to throw some like old school like burlesque kind of shows. Oh hell yeah, that would be awesome. Seedy little, <laughs> seedy little. Uh, what do you call what to call those, John? Uh, Cabaret shows. Yeah, and oh, I forget what they were called. During the prohibition times when like a speakeasy. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see, I want to see that kind of thing and that kind of feel and something, something I really feel is. People use the word metaverse to mean a lot of different things. And I kind of, for me personally, I kind of try to steer away from that messaging um, until I have a clear idea that we're going to be able to to really incorporate a lot of different projects between in our space. Because okay. to me, meta is something, meta is something that incorporates more than just one, one thing. So I'm going to build a, a 3D game world that has hold all of my things in it. Um, but I also want to be able to reach reach into other projects. So if Green Rabbit or uh, like Consumer Break, you've got a thing, or 
uh, Pixtalgia. Like I want, I want to be people to be able to move from my world to those worlds and have it also be a launch pad. And that's that's oh, really yeah. where I, that's really where I see metaverse coming in. And that's to me, metaverse means something that oh, we missed an entire round. <laughs> my dad just changed it and didn't tell me. Uh, round twelve is up. <laughs> oh, I'm whoops. so sorry. Oh, yeah. oh I'm, I'm dead even. Um, I didn't. I didn't get a notification on that. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, something. Something I feel that's important is is we need to create a space where lots of projects can work together and benefit from each other, um, and really like stitch those worlds together in a meaningful manner, where you, you can pass through them. And, and that's so. I don't know that everybody has the same vision of about it as I do, but that's how that's how I see. Um, that's how I see metaverse meaning and the way that we can contribute to that um, and also contribute to everybody else. I agree. Thanks. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And the fact that a lot of different projects are working towards those kinds of goals in the next couple of years, like that, I can see that when whenever those things from these projects, they have their own kind of metaverse type things and they evolve. And then at some point you, you could just connect those like just all together to be able to hop from actual different metaverses of the different projects i think that would be super cool and i think that's i think that's gonna lay the landscape for what will ultimately be like the fully digital metaverse yeah. that everybody will use Aaron, yeah. i love you break i love you i love you all i really gotta go bathroom <laughs> <laughs> bye buddy all right round 13 is up we're gonna we're Full getting plenty baby <laughs> Hell yeah, we're getting close to the. To the oh come on, fam! Dang, Neapolitan did some defending there. Dang it! <laughs> All right, we got three family standings: Skimortis and Margarita holding up at 180 points. And Neapolitan, this is tight. <laughs> it is. We're coming down to the wire. Uh, and if yeah, that was actually transaction was, was, error. Oh, oh, my family's dead. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was um. That was actually probably a really smart play to for everyone to take out the Belpasse family first, even though it's me. Because <laughs> right. the more actions, like we were able to dish out six actions in a turn compared to everybody else. So that breaks that pool down very quickly. All right, let's see. I wonder if this will be the last. This really could be the last round right here. Neapolitan's <laughs> in, in good shape, but until we hit that refresh button, we won't know who's going to win. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> I love this shit. <laughs> oh, what? They got 20 left. And then 60. Oh and Skamorza <laughs> got 60. Oh. God, y'all took us out. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's it going to be now? Oh, what happens if you both go? Well, I guess it'll go by points, huh? If you both I go so. before zero, below yeah. zero. Well, it's probably, probably going to be whoever clicks first. <laughs> Or no, Shit. oh, I'm say, I'm just saying both actions go through and then whoever's still lower, both, both yeah. being negative. Yeah. Okay. Defend. defend. Good of luck. Uh, good of luck. <laughs> the honest answer is, I don't know how that's going to get recorded on the blockchain yet. Um, it will be... So it's actually a first click? Is it, So that's how it works? It, it's, I, I figure, I think it will be whichever transaction gets recorded on the blockchain first. Oh, okay. First, well, we'll in that case... The winner. And we got one, so. <laughs> well done with 20. They won with 20 HP. Wow, congratulations, Neapolitans. Who wants to say they were Neapolitan? You got prizes. Yeah, hell yeah. If you got it, well, throw, if you're in Neapolitan, the, throw up some emojis. The funny thing is, when I go, like, you know, in Enter Q, it shows Gorgonzola, but it shows that I'm part of the Neapolitan family. Why is that? Uh, we in the back end have an oh, automatic right. system uh, that will balance the teams to keep oh. them kind of about the same so just in yeah. case so you actually staked a different one but it put you in the team because it was two yeah. stacks yeah so I, i'm in neapolitan but... congratulations yeah you got prizes <laughs> way to go man awesome <laughs> uh, congrats you get it You'll get you'll get them later, uh, and you'll get something from us—a pack of one base card from Consumer Break, and then also something from Doge. Hell yeah! Welcome. Thanks. That was fun. That I was that. that was super fun. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, and if anybody else has any questions, what? Yeah. I don't think we have enough time to run a, another session. No, I, I don't think we do, but we get, there's 10 minutes for the event. I definitely have things planned for the next hour. But yeah, if anybody had wanted to talk more about those here or questions, uh, we you barely, I mean, you, you did talk about Metaverse a little bit here, but you didn't go over everything that you're doing. Did you want to go over the other game styles or anything? Yeah. Or look yeah, at I, NFTs if you wanted the screen share or anything like that while we're here. My screen's already up. I'll run, run everybody, right. give everyone a quick run through. Here's our home, our home screen. Welcome, welcome to my office. Um, we did just push a major update um, that now all of our our NFT and and image content is streamed um, from the inside the Unity. Uh, so our client just shrank in size by more than 50%. So we had some people with older phones were having a little bit of issues logging in just because the client was so big. Um, so now everything is a lot more streamlined. It's a lot tighter and a lot smaller, which means you're going to start seeing a bunch more collabs now because uh, it's not going to overload our client and start to exclude people. So right here, awesome. right now, uh, we we just built in, we just unlocked our, our uh, recruiting, our recruiting panel, which is your minting uh, minting panel so right now we just have two packs in there and those prices are tied to to be about the same as market value they're a little bit less expensive to buy it on the inside um and like i said we're gonna we're going to be um building this into the into the inside panel so you're gonna open your pack it's gonna take all the way through the back end process and give you the card that you're gonna that you're gonna get if you flip them over you can see the you can see what's in these packs. Um, and then here we've got an exchange. So we have two different currencies. We have mob and fellas. Mob is the currency you earn from your staking rewards. That's currently used at the vet to refill your energy, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes. Um, and that, that converts at a rate of 100 mob to one fellas. Fellas will be the currency that we use uh, for packs and for crafting, um, which will come a little bit later. We've got a leaderboard to see who, who's collecting the most every day. Oh, that's cool. And then, so the more you have staked, the more you're going to collect. And then the blitz mode, which we did see. Uh, and five families. This is our weekly turn base. It look, it's exactly the same uh, as that. And you can see here the previous week's winners. Nice. So that's what. So anyone that missed it earlier, what we just played was Blitz mode. It was only ever done during this Digicon and last Digicon, where it's like a, a minute per action. Normally, the regular game Five Families is one one action per day. So you go in there every day and choose which family you want to hit. And they got channels inside the Discord to like work together if you want and that kind of stuff. But then th correct. this blitz mode really works great for an event just like this, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's so much fun. I really like it. Um, here, here we're in shakedown. This is our risk-based click and collect. So here we've got the bet. Once a day, you get a free, a free full energy bar recovery, and one you can pay for. And then you grab your, grab your NFTs, your cards. If you flip them over, you can see a little bit of info about them. You can see their stats. And each station has four different tiers of risk. Um, so you have your 20, 40, 60, 80%. The reward goes up based on that. Each challenge consumes 20 hit points. Um, and each station uses a different combination of stats. So you're going to want to pick your card figure out who gives you the biggest bonus. Looks like at the bar, who is the best? Likes the bar, obviously. You can see my bonus is 9%. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go big. We, this this point right here queries the blockchain. We use a wax RNG pull um, to give it the most secure and trustworthy uh, transaction that we can. And you can actually see these, these transactions on the blockchain. So if anyone has any questions, about about how that works you can actually look at the blockchain and, and see see your results so i rolled a 42 i had a nine bonus got a 51 but i need to hit 80 so i got scum and each that burns your your health points in the future as we release crafting each one of these stations is going to give you a different resource 
um, which will be used in different in different ratios uh, to craft different things. So you're going to want to start building your team um, to be able to harvest your resources more efficiently. And then last, we just have our collection, which is having a bit of a fit. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that's great. I'm just going to refresh this really quick. Um, this is the panel where you can you see your staking, um, stake and unstake your cards, and our off collection cards um, as well. So, for example, um, Shnaz Eagle unopened packs are stakeable. Um, so you can earn your. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to refresh my client uh, to be able to show you that properly. I get to pull up. Yeah. So, can I do it this way? No. Stake. Stake inventory is cards that are just sitting in your wallet. Staked are cards that we've sent we've sent over and staked. As you can see, they all have the stats on the back as well. And then coming up, uh, yeah, there's crafting and consumables are going to be the two big next rollouts that we have. Um, and then the the turn based uh, battle game like Final Fantasy or Pokemon style, where you'll use a team of three characters uh, to battle other people, other businesses, and raid bosses. Uh, is that, that's kind of the rundown for, for what's coming up. Yeah, you do a lot of great work. You also do Twitter spaces and talk uh, with different people about news and things, and so definitely involved in Wax Space, and we appreciate all that. I do. Uh, Santino and I actually ho host the Wax Wednesday early edition uh, show. Yeah, I'm always asleep during that time. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's early. It's 9, 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, and the big reason we started that up was because the overseas, uh, oh, we got some feedback from overseas people like in the EU that the other ones are just too late for people to make it. So we wanted we yeah. wanted a space for people in in other parts of the world to be able to come and share their projects and, and yeah. hang out. Yeah, uh, and, and that's very thoughtful because they do miss out. They do Digicon included and other things. They have to come here like super late at night just to participate. So <laughs> th that is cool that you thought of that because there right. are other spaces and stuff happening for Wax during the evenings here. So yep, uh, Schnazzy and the Wax official uh, run one. It's at three p.m. Pacific. And then Kumas and Brett run one. It's at six thirty Pacific. That's the one Wednesday. I usually am able to get into. But that one's fun. Yeah, that's and, and yeah, and you and you pop in there too. Yeah, anybody that yeah. uh, you you know, yeah. it's usually listening. But you can also go up and talk. And, and there's news, or sometimes it's just uh, chit chat or whatever. But if you're bored, uh, peep the Twitter Spaces for, with Wax. It's usually Wednesdays, and there's one on Friday. Yeah. There, yeah, there's a couple more. I know um, you know, and Atomic Hub hosts one on Fridays. Uh, Nefty Blocks has a space. And there's a, there's a couple more around. Um, I can never keep all of the time straight. I will. <laughs> I won't lie. Most, mostly because they're in the middle of my work day, and I can never make them, <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> which is good. really unfortunate. Uh, and then we're wrapping up the top of the hour. So, Breakman, what's coming up next? Well, I have some stuff planned for you. Uh, Grubfish, puzzles. We got drop in the, in, in the half hour. And uh, lots of prizes from various collections, not just ours. In fact, uh, prizes from Dogefellas. You'll get a character for Dogefellas for the main, uh, the main game during the grubs. And then we have like numerous other things. So that is what's happening next. If we wanted to, uh, right. I guess, start working our way there, which is right, it's just right over yonder. It's right over there. Perfect. Let's head over. Let's get started. Uh, I'm going to pop in there and just hang out and hit the bathroom while everyone gets in. So talk to you in a little bit. All right, everyone on the stream. We about to win Man. some stuff. I'll be RB. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. If you want to take photos of the booth or whatever, throw it on the tweeter. Tag us, tag Digicon. We like that stuff on this final day of Digicon 12. I'll be right. Anyway, thank you for being here with me, people. Now it's time to go for the next stream, which is three streams. New guy 26, which is...
Okay, I was talking to Digicon and Twitch. It was muted. Sorry. So what? Well, all right. First, first off, first off, uh, I want to praise the raid because you missed that. The raid, though, from online in. What's up? What's up, Raider? Thanks for being here. If you want to come to Digicon, we want to try to fill this bad boy up. So if you want to do that, oh my God, I missed the stream. No, I'm I'm starting right now. I'm starting right now. Uh, the stream has been going because I was doing Doge fellas. So. Uh, but while people are getting in here and getting set and, the, and joining Grub, I'm going to do an announcement and change the, the, the name of the thing and that kind of stuff. All right. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your families. How's everyone doing today on this final day of Digicon? It's been what a what a fun time it's been. So many Yay. events. Cosmic's in here. So much cool stuff has been happening. I've I've thoroughly enjoyed it, even though I'm so, so exhausted. <laughs> Four hours of sleep every day for the past three days. Whenever I get there tonight, it's gonna be like a twelve hour one. <laughs> All right, there's that. Thirty five people on the grub already. <clears throat> let's see, let's do one of these guys. And we'll start in just a couple minutes. Oh, I need to I need to join. Yeah, and I haven't started the puzzle yet either, so that's not quite there. No, I'm getting an uh, ad. Bye. Ad. I know. Hello, we have to watch it. It's okay. It's all worth it. What are they advertising? Uh, some kind of looks like the World Cup or something. Oh, World in here. Cup. What World Cup? What room is it? Are we in? We're in Nefty Blocks. Oh, Stargill Nest. What's up? Or oh, it's Orchid the, Hunter. the FIFA, the FIFA, 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 FIFA World Cup. Oh. Wow, that's a really long uh, play for PlayStation. Good on you, PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Nefty Blocks room is where we're at. Yeah, fill that booth up. Let's keep filling that bad boy up. I will start the presentation real quick, and we got Grubfish going. We're going to have puzzles to solve. I got a drop here in, in 25 minutes. Our commute, like super cheap drop, 0.1 wax. We're going to see who gets those. And then we got prizes out the wazoo, including Doge fellas, including various collections. All right, it's gonna be fun, but I should I do need to <laughs> finish up my setup so we can get started. So let's do that. We're live. You should probably share your screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, man. All right. All right, appreciate everybody here. Appreciate uh, yeah, the, the folks in the stream. So cool. Waffles is in here. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey. How's how's your day been? Oh my gosh! So my power went out. I had to deal with that, and then like I, I was earlier before that, I was feeling a little bit like uh, dizzy, like I had a headache. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling much better. Well, that's good. Right now, and like I'm here for you guys. Oh, I love it. Well. We're gonna go ahead and start our uh, our consumer break event here. Uh, if you wanted to pull up your consumer break app, consumerbreak.com is where the links are. It's free on the App Store and Google Play. If you're not already familiar, and I'm gonna make a, a game live right now. You you will not need a password. It'll just be right there, sitting at the top of the home feed and there's 24 minutes so it's going to last a half hour and we'll just play it i'll show how to play it i'll want to talk about the game and stuff and then we'll do another second puzzle game in the second half hour everybody that solves the thing will get a pack of sketch cards from our collection and two random people will get a, uh, for the first game an epic poster and i'll do that draw here as well and then in the next half hour two people will get a random 
pack of one base card. These are things from our collection, which I'll brief over once we get going. Uh, but to really get the hang of everything, you, you know how that goes, get into the community. Uh, but then for the grubfish, I got prizes from all different kinds of places. Warsagen, Faded, Doge Fellows, and some more. So, if, if you haven't hit the grubfish yet, you can. And the puzzle is live. It's at the very top. It's called Chupa Kraken. Chupa Kraken, which is a blend of a chupacabra and a kraken. <laughs> chupacabra. <laughs> yes, sir. We have cryptids. Like cryptids. So we actually have, actually, you will see all five pairs in the next half hour's puzzle. So that's cool. Five cryptid pairs in our collection. Some graphic artwork with it. And they're literal blends of the two cryptids to make the uh, these hybrids. Hybrid Creatures is the project, which is part of our thing, Consumer Break. So it's, that's our project. Uh, all right, I'm going to pull up my phone, though. If I can uh, see here. Pull up the phone. Yeah, I like everyone being in here. I love seeing the booth filled all day long. Every event essentially has been pretty full all day, yesterday, Friday, and today. So it's like, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, we got Puzzled Puzzlers, our mod. She's in the Twitch chat doing amazing work. She just says, we now stake in Wombat Dungeon Master. Absolutely. That happened last week. It started. Uh, most of most of the NFTs have low MP because they're uncapped, but there are some capped ones that have really good MP. So there's actually an auction right now in the auction house, which I won't go through right this second, but that's a one of one. And the only other one of one that we have in the collection, which was auctioned last Digicon, has uh, 3,000 MP. So that is a nice fancy one. Here we have Consumer Break, the app. So anybody that wants to play, download it from uh, consumerbreak.com or the App Store and Google Play. You search uh, just Consumer Break with as one word, and that's how you would get the puzzle. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to just show the puzzle, and then we'll do the grub fish. So the game is right at the top. It's called Chupa Kraken. Hit that guy, and then it's a literal like a jigsaw style puzzle but it's pretty unique though we got another raid the DJ is here the pirate fam is here now this is what i'm talking about y'all this is what i'm talking about uh the the wax fam the streamer fan we're in here and we're we're gonna have a fun hour lots of prizes the grubfish is up you can join the grubfish uh asr164 isn't here i told her that i kind of want to have her at this event so i gave her a little heads up hey you should be at this event and show us what 21 seconds looks like because uh, because she is our shark. So anyway, you tap on the right half of the screen to rotate the piece clockwise. You tap the left half to go the other way. This is only on mobile, but people have played on with emulators before. That is possible. Uh, you can pass the piece at any time with the button at the bottom right. And then you can look at the whole image at any time you want at, but at the button at the bottom left if you hold on it. So here you see our Chupa Crabber card and a Kraken card at the bottom there. You add them together, you blend them, and you get a Chupa Kraken, which, uh, <laughs> which is quite literally blended together. You got the tentacles coming out of its back, and you got the lightning to theme around the Kraken. The colors blend together, red and cyan. All right. I need my organize. You need my organizing skills. What are you talking about, DJ? I feel like I'm pretty disorganized right now. <laughs> Multitasking. So here you go. And you do it one piece at a time like this. So you'll just get the pieces. Now, I'm, I guess I would categorize myself as a professional. So don't think that if you're, if I'm faster than you, don't think anything. I'm definitely not the best though. There's people, multiple people include, especially ASR down there. That's the, the number one uh, that, that can beat me. Can I do F12 Galaxy in Chrome? I'm not sure. I haven't personally actually done uh, the PC myself. People have used BlueStacks to emulate the Android app. I don't actually know how it works though. But in my opinion, mobile is easier and faster. <laughs> I take the Kraken right now, says Tapioca. Well, uh, two random people will win an epic poster on this puzzle. One of them will be a Kraken poster. The other will be the Chupacabra poster. So. Uh, strategy is you solve one one attempt like I just did and you have 10 attempts total to get your best score and it's the best of 10 so you actually have 
you can keep trying. You'll get different piece shapes every time, but it's the same number of pieces every time. And the strategy would be uh, like solve one, uh, and then once you have it there before you break it apart, like I did, me try to memorize it, study it, see what uh, colors are and the, the border colors and see if that can help you. And then you could do your remaining attempt. And so we already have 17 people in here. Shouts to everyone that played. ASR 164 up there with a 2181. That is exactly what a pro status is. That's faster than what I can do. Uh, and I had asked her also earlier that if she's going to come, if she can record her attempts for us and send them to me. So I think I got those in email. I haven't looked at them. Uh, but I, I will open that up so you will see what a, an ultra fast score looks like. I finally found where to change my name. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yes, uh, that is a point th that I didn't mention. If you sign up with uh, Gmail or, or so Facebook or I think Apple too, it's going to take your name because it's a quick login. It's going to take your first and last name or whatever you have in there. And if you do want to change your name, you just go into the menu and it's right there. Hit edit username. There's also the wallets tab right here. So you want to hit wallets and put your wax addy in there. That way I know who you are. So we have 19 players. You guys can keep doing that. We have 17 minutes to go on that. And now we're going to go and do the grub fish. So how many do we got in there? 43. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It looks like, oh, oh my gosh. The Twitch says 74 viewers. You guys are crazy. The pirate fam and the in fan. And guess what? We're going to the end next. I'm going to raid right back to the online end when we're done. So we're going to keep the party raging. Uh, so here we have prizes. First place, we'll get a Doge Fellas pack, which will just be one character. But the pack will give you a random character. You use that to play the actual five families game, not the blitz mode. So that's actually separate NFTs that do each each one of them. 10 wax for 30 mining power in the Wombat. Yup. So if you went to our drops in Nefty, we have the epic posters there. Uh, and there's plenty left of 10 different cryptids. There's, there's plenty left. They're not sold out. And they all stake in Wombat for 30 MP. So that, that And there's other utilities as well. So that is something you could try. Uh, Puzzle if you drop the, the Nefty link there. The prizes will be, you know, first place is Doge. And then we have 10th place. And how many we got? 54. You guys are awesome. Let's do 10th, 20th, 30th, 40th. Heck, let's go 50th. Mix it up. Uh... 10th and 20th, we'll get a Warsaken card. Actually, I have how many Warsakens? Let's do 10th, 20th, and 30th, get a Warsaken. 40th and 50th, you guys could get a pack of three sketch cards from our collection. All right, and there we go. Last chance to get in it. You, uh, you guys in Digicon, you can look down here where I'm screen sharing, or you can be on my Twitch and... I encourage you to ask me anything. I know I, I ramble a lot and I have a lot to say, but if anyone has questions about our collection or, or the app, just hit me up or hit it in chat. I know I was watching the VOD and I was missing a lot of chats on Twitch. I'm going to try. I'll do my best. All right. So here we go. Oh, good luck. There we go. So I just want to um, say a few things now about about the puzzle game, Consumer Break. Um, so yes, we are promoting our NFTs. We have a collection. You can also earn through the puzzles for free, uh, free packs in our collection. Explosion, that was a giant explosion right there. Just took out half the crowd. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but our main goal is not to sell NFTs. I mean, sure, if, you, if you're into the collection, it's what? great. It's great and we love it, but what we really want is for you to play the weekly collab games. We have a collab every single week, a different wax project. I bring them onto my stream, we do an AMA. You win prizes from the puzzle games. You can see it right down there in the feed. If you scroll down, you'll see more of them. We actually have an official collab with Digicon right now, and there's a few different prizes there. There's also a drawn company puzzle that's still there with 20 winners on that, 20 packs. 
And the reason why we really want to up those numbers weekly is because that will attract the bigger sponsors that are not even in NFT space, advertisers. So we currently get something like 100 players a week. If we could bring that up to uh, over 1,000 a week, and I know that's not just a clicker, so it requires you to go in there and actively solve, and it's skill-based, and that's a, it's harder. But then I can actually attract real advertisers, and they would pay us to, to have a game because they don't listen currently. They don't listen with this play count. Congratulations! And if you can imagine an actual advertisement on the puzzle that gets not only engaged with but memorized over several minutes and repeat play, uh, advertisers fawn over that. They will pay us. They would pro provide products and cash and we would split it with you guys and that's how it works. Uh, so that's like our big goal is to up those plays and and we will of course keep the wax projects too but just kind of branch out we just we're looking for those players so congratulations to Fisichella you got the doge fellas character well done and then we got RDD stone and also hot rod piper with a warsaken card then we got Olga with a warsaken card and then we got a pack of three sketch cards from our collection to Nunu Um Nunu Um <laughs> Hold on. Nunom F F M O <laughs> N U N O M F O M O. Your wallet didn't save. If you can whisper me that, I guess it shows up as a link or something. I can try to whisper you later too. And then Altcoin Arena got a pack of three sketch cards. Well done. <laughs> Another raid, get out of here. Life with Sasha is in here. Everybody's ending their streams at the exact right moment, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, I'm starting the grubs again. You can uh, join that thing, exclamation mark, play in your wallet in the Twitch. Uh, Waffles Kitty's in there in the chat helping, yeah, answering some things, thank you. Look at this awesome booth. Look at this awesome booth, y'all. I'm gonna take a nice little screen screen grab here. Wait, take screen grabs after we send a billion emotes. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's see those let's see those emotes, baby. There we go. We got jumpers in the house. We got dancers and jumpers. That's what I'm talking about. I need to put a, on a, a little bit of tunes as well. So you can join. There you go. Oh, you're ahead of the game. You're going to join. Uh, I'm going to pull up the puzzle again. And it looks looking like now we got 23 people in here. Congratulations. Hey, you're up there at the top. I need to pull up that email and watch that thing. I'm going to do that next. The character jump boosting over mass is so much fun. Everybody have fun at Jitty Jitty Con. That's awesome. Yeah, we got a lot of our regular community in here and also some newbies. Uh, I definitely met some new people this weekend. Some people that really liked what we're doing. Uh, new collab partners that we're going to collab up. So just Digicon has absolutely been worthwhile. So absolutely thank you to Waffles and everybody else that, that helped things. Obviously, I have I've did a lot too to try to get things moving. But it's also a collective effort. So it's been really, really fun. Yeah, first time attendee at Digicon. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, Skunky it's so and, much fun following, Tony following you around, Breakman. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what that was the purpose, the Digi Train. So thank you. Uh, yeah, all cool. right, I'm gonna pull. Well, it might take a minute. So we actually have it's still ten minutes, but we do have a drop that's going to be uh, dropping on the half hour, right when the puzzle game ends. Uh, if you if you're playing the puzzle, you have those ten attempts to try to get a better score, uh, uh, and what that will do is uh, get you more NFTs. So if you're able to score below thirty seconds like a true pro, you will get three NFTs in your pack, three, three sketch cards. Thirty to forty seconds is two. Above forty is one. You will get one regardless, uh, even if you get uh, five minutes on it. And every single pack of ours also has a zero point zero five percent chance super rare chance of getting a shiny creature a shiny creature which is legendary and has its uh utilities and things so there's always that that chance of pulling that guy and there's not too many pulls either so that is cool uh, i'm gonna put the drop up actually let's run the grubfish because we're gonna do 
another grub fish before the half hour ends and then two more before the hour. So it's four grub fish total. The prizes on this one, and we're gonna run that before the half hour. So yeah, go ahead and join, last call, 41. Yeah! Appreciate the raid there, Sasha, Captain DGen, and the online in. Really showing the love. As soon as the hour ends, of course, there's prizes and stuff here until the hour. Then we're going to raid over to the online end, and he's going to carry on the party. And then an hour later, we're going to Avalon. So we're going to carry on this digi train all the way to the end. ASR got you by 0.07 seconds. Super Dud is also a, a, a super, super Dud. <laughs> he's also extremely good. All right. For first place, we'll get a, a Doge Fellas again. 10th and 20th, we'll get a Faded Mansuda. A random common one. 43 in here. Let's let's go with more Fadeds. You guys know Faded and Sensei Bulrog. He supplies us with a lot of his NFTs, so that's really awesome. Same thing with a number of other collections. 30th, 40th, Faded. Here we go. Last call to get in the Grubfish. And then after that, I'll do a few of these puzzle solves myself. And then we'll get to uh, the end of it. And then we'll, we'll get a new puzzle. And, and also the drop and whatever else. All right, here we go. Tissues just got in, well done. There you go, you made it. And here we go. For our collection, the hybrid creatures, you can see everything on hybridcreaturesnft.com. It's actually two websites, but it's also linked in consumerbreak.com. Uh, it's a creature card collection with blend pieces that you can earn for free by solving puzzles and on the streams like I'm doing now you can earn stuff and then you're blending them up into the better cards yet you start yeah there's broken cards five of the same broken one goes into a sketch five of the same sketch goes into a base card oh we got a subscription now thank you Skunky Chucks thank you for the support and then your goal is to collect all ten base cards and then at the end of the season, which is one month away, we're going to get into a blend race. The first people to blend uh, these hybrid creatures. So like this Chupa Kraken, that's one of them. There's five different pairs. And it's user's choice on which pair to go for. That's gonna be a very chaotic decision because they're extremely limited. There's two of two each, 10 mythics total. And those mythics have utility of 10% profit share, uh, multiplying the, the NFT rewards when you play the puzzles and then better staking and all this kind of stuff. If you miss the mythics, like if you did try it, but then you were too late because it's instant, it's an instant second when it happens, you still can use your leftover cards to try to blend uh, uh, fabled ones, which is a step below mythic the, the week later. And those aren't quite as limited. And then there is still utility just for the base cards by themselves. You can still stake those in our wax dial they provide a weekly entry into a spin wheel for prizes and then everything stakes in wombat as well so that's a very quick rundown congratulations stargill naz look at you from orchid hunter also an awesome project thanks for doing an event last night stargill naz uh you got the uh doge fellas pack which will give you one random character and then we got Everybody else gets Faded Monsudas, Super Dud, Hot Rod Piper, Master Halo, and Olga. Olga got the 40, and you guys will get Faded Monsudas. Congratulations. I'm going to pull this down, and you guys can join again. We're almost to the halfway or half hour mark, so there's like four minutes left. So, last chance to get into the puzzle game, and whatever attempt you want to make for it to get your best time score. Uh, and then I also do want to pull up the drop real quick. So anybody that wants to, I know our community will be absolutely hopping on it. Oops. So we'll actually see the mint count jump up to like 50 or so, 30, 40, 50 in the, in, in the first second because they're so cheap and there's a claim limit of two. So our community will jump on it. And the first 10 unique wallets that get it will get a bonus pack of one sketch card airdrop so there's a little incentive 
And here is the link. In, Where's the link? Right here. Oh, yes, I'm in there. All right. Yes, sir. Oops. Hold on. I'm getting a little laggy here. There we go. That link there. It's public. Here's a link here, too, in the, the Twitch. Anybody wants to race for it, if you do make one of the first 10 unique wallets, you'll get a pack of one sketch card. All the prizes go out later. I don't do them live. So by tomorrow, you will. Uh, the winners will have their stuff. All right? Even though I'm extremely tired, <laughs> I'm definitely going to send them before I hit the bed. So by the morning, you can check your wallet if you win. So I'm just going to, and I still need to pull up <laughs> ASR's videos. I'm, we're still going to watch that. But I want to do one real quick, too. Because my score is 121 when I was explaining. Let's see what a quick one looks like. Oh, not with a piece like that. First one. Restart. There we go. You're using your border colors at an advantage here. So that really helps. You can tell, oh, yeah, the sign goes to the right. The red goes to the left. And that just helped me a lot right there because I was getting the borders. See that? Boom. Boom. There's a lot of instinct and photographic memory. If the people that are good at that and memorize images, they're obviously going to do extremely good. Like ASR, it's a, a lot of instinct as well. And practice makes perfect. So not only using all your 10 of your attempts to get your best score on the one puzzle, but the more that you play regularly, you also get better. And I've definitely seen it. I've seen people improve. Uh, 33, favorite number. Nice. Yeah, 33. Uh, for the From the app, somebody in Twitch is asking, from the app, you can go right here into your menu, put in, uh, in, put in your wallet in the wallet section. For Grubfish, uh, you should put it into the thing, but if for, for any reason I don't have your wallet, I'll try to reach out to you because the app does have the email and whatever. But if you put your, your wallet into the section there, then it will work. I'll have it. I, I kind of just blank brain when I do puzzles. Super dog, but you're so good at it. How are you doing that blank? See, it's just, uh, it's impulse, isn't it? Uh, all right, let's, uh, one minute to go on that puzzle right here. One minute to go. Last chance to get in whatever uh, attempts you wanted. And then for our drop, we have a promo NFT for the Chupa Kraken, which is also counting down. Oh, actually, I think it's, it's live already. It just went up. So you can get it. Um, yeah, man. See, look now. Now if I hit refresh on it, what we got? What up? The promo. Ooh, see that? 51. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. Now the promos, you can collect them up. They're, they can be just as collectibles. But if you can get all 10 promos for the season, number 41 through 50, uh, you can blend those into what we call a badge, which will be coming up next month. And then that has some utilities as well. So these promos only last one week. So currently there's still, there's, there are four promos in the drops currently, but then the ones prior to that are over. So there's only the market for those. Wow. You guys were fast. I clicked right on the second. Oh yeah. So as far as the drops go, our community is there waiting. They're doing that. They want to be one of the first 10. So it's always like that for these. And they're extremely cheap too, so it's like everyone's just going for it in our community. So that's awesome. Super dud. I've beaten ASR once and it was a, a god run. I'll never hit sub 20. Sub 20 is insanity. All right, I'm going to take this drop off there. Uh, I'll check later. Later tonight, I'll check the, the first hand and stuff and send that out. Congrats if you made it though. And now uh, the puzzle game should be over. And I will give you another one. Congrats to everyone that played. You will be getting a pack of sketch cards. And I will draw the winners of the posters here in just a little minute as well. All right. Uh, and you can join the Grubfish too. It's it's live and running. Yeah, 43. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. 29 people made it into the Chupa Kraken. Thanks, everybody, for playing, especially if you're new and you tried it out. Especially that. So... Here, our next puzzle is going to have all five hybrid creatures on it because we we went through all five pairs. Uh, I had I had three events and we did two puzzles and events, so we went through the five pairs. 
And now we got a puzzle with all five on the same puzzle. How do we receive prize through email? Yeah, your wallet is, uh, you'll see, receive prize to your Wax wallet. So if you go into your app menu, which I'm gonna pull this back up here. If you go to your app menu, which is the, the three lines at the top right there, go to wallets and then put in your Wax address there, then I'll have it. So that's where you're going to actually do it. She says my stream keeps repeating itself. What does that mean? Are we hearing any bleed or anything like that? Anybody else getting some issues? All right. So now we have, boom, a new puzzle. Let's look at that. Hybrid pairs. Oh, so it's not just you. What do you mean by repeating? Like you're getting echo again? I don't, I don't know why you would, because in Digicon we're not. Why you would, because in Digicon we're not. Why you would, because in Digicon we're not. Hmm. Yeah, we're not getting any bleed through Digicon. Might yeah, be Digicon it sounds great, but I did just unmute the Twitch and it is doing it. Which is odd. Does, does anyone, um, no, yeah, that's why I'm looking at tissues. I don't see any tabs, other tabs open now. Cause that would do it. Oh, I'll keep checking. Same with you. If you're, if you're inside the booth here, you, uh, and you're watching Twitch, then you also will hear both versions. Just mute the Twitch and then listen to the Digicon. Uh, and if you don't want to talk, you can do the other way. Mute, you can mute the, the browser here by right clicking the tab. So user's choice there. I don't know why the Twitch would have, uh... oh, there it is. Is that playing? There it is. All right. So I do have another tab open. Sorry. Well, crap. Y'all just told me now. Sorry about that. So let's see if that works. Is it gone now? Oh, sorry about that. So let's see if that works. Is it gone now? Oh, sorry about that. Oh, no, it's still doing it. So let's see if that works. Is it gone now? Oh, we have oh, another. Sorry about that. Oh, no, it's still doing it. So let's see if that works. We have that much stuff now? open. Oh, we have oh, another. Sorry about that. Oh, no, it's still doing it. Testing, so testing. Let's see if that works. We have that much stuff now? open. Oh, we have oh, another. Sorry about that. Oh, no, it's still doing it. Testing, so testing. Let's see if that works. We have that much stuff now? open. Oh, we have oh, another. Oh, no, it's still doing it. Testing, testing. Oh, yeah, it is. It's nuts. Why is it doing it? Oh, no, it's still doing it. Testing, oh, testing. Yeah, it is. It's nuts. Why is it doing it? Oh, no, it's still Testing, testing. Yeah, it is. It's nuts. Why is it doing it? Oh, I mean, it would keep doing because I'm hearing it. Sorry. All right. So now do you hear it? Uh, just tell me if it's still doing it now. Tell me if it's still doing it now. Hey, sorry. You're not normal with these puzzles. <laughs> you got that right. All right. Let me, let me know if it's still doing it. it does, I mean, if I was listening to it, then it's going to repeat. So that's why it was, but all right, actually I can mute it too. Let's see. Boom. And then I could tell. All right. We're wasting too much time here. Boom, hybrid pairs. I think it's good. I think we are good now. I think it's good. I think we are good now. Oops. I think it's good. I think All right, I fixed it. All right, I'm gonna restart this thing. Let's look at these. Uh, this is gonna last until five minutes until the hour. So you have that much time to do it. Uh, you hold that and you see all five of them. The Moth Monster is a Mothman and a Loch Ness Monster. The Big Jack is a Jackalope and a Bigfoot. Space Yeti is a Yeti and a UFO. The Death Devil is a Jersey Devil and a Mongolian Death Worm.
And then the Chupa Kraken, Chupa Cabra and Kraken. That's what we got here for these. Let's do a, a quick restart. Boom. All right. I'm going to solve this and we'll do the next grub fish. While the next grub fish is running, I'm going to see if I can pull up the videos from ASR and you can see what 20 seconds looks like or whatever she got up there. <laughs> Giving you praise. Should have been watching it already. All right. There we go. Boom, boom. Nice. 32. 45 seconds is, is the average-ish going by all the leaderboards. If you're a new person and you're getting around 45 to 50, you're actually doing good because you will get better as you practice. Uh, but if, you're, if you just can't manage to get that fast, that's fine too. You don't have to be fast to win stuff. It's all entry-based or it's earning-based. So it's not prizes to the top scores for that reason. Because then ASR will get all the stuff. <laughs> all right. 17 people in here already. Thanks for playing. Keep on going. Keep on doing the thing. We're going to do the grub fish next. And I'm going to prepare uh, prepare the leaderboard from the last one to, to draw to see who wins the posters. And then also, in addition to that, I do want to get the video out from ASR. Congratulations to everybody. Uh, and I mentioned earlier that we do a collab every week. We absolutely do. If you want to follow the stream, our no regular AMA streams are on Thursdays. This week it will not be. Happy Thanksgiving, US. But this week it will be on Saturday. Uh, and then we also do Trivial Wednesdays. So there's a lot of stuff going on on the Twitch and uh, and you can also check out like the booth slides there and there's a couple bounty block links. So there's also a bounty block for every collab. So there's a lot of winning of winning opportunities if you participate in the old break. All right, let's pull this up. Pop. Pull up this leaderboard. Everybody solving away, I hope. All right. All right, I'm great. I'm ready to go. Grubfish Royale, Grubfish Royale. We got 53 people in here. That's what I love seeing. That's what I like to see. Thanks for all the raids earlier once again. The prizes for this one will be an assorted bunch. First place gets Dogefellas pack again. Uh, fifth place will get a pack of one base card from our collection. That's nice. Uh, one, of, one of those 10. Uh, 10th place gets a pinup Warlords card. 15th gets a Faded Monsuda. 20th, Katie Colorful, who's Sasha, uh, Life with Sasha's wife. She's got a photo photography type art collection. 25th place, we'll get a shrimp. That's from Granny's Magic. 30th place gets a pack of three sketch cards. And then let's keep it rolling with 40th and 50th. Also gets a pack of three sketch cards. Thanks for so many people playing. This is awesome. And I hope you come back too for our AMA streams. Every AMA stream, holy crap, cheers, I'm missing those. Shamwan with the bits, thank you. You're amazing, thanks for the support. The next Digicon puzzle at the top is has 15 minutes left. Yep, so get in here and here we go. Boom! All right. Now I'm preparing the leaderboard, so I'll announce the. We'll we'll do the draw right after this. For a Kraken poster and a Chupacabra poster. Nice explosion! The the utilities for the posters: 30 MP in Wombat, 
they stake in our Waxdale farm. They give you... Actually, they don't give you entries. You can blend five of a set of posters to get a fabled one. That gives you five entries into the wheel. Or you can just directly blend a poster into its base card inside of our blends. And then that'll get you directly into a base card with skipping all the sketch blends if you wanted to. Oh, good luck! There we go! Penny bags at the number one! Frequent player, thanks for playing. Penny bags got the Doge fellas. Chris VK, you got the pack of one base card. You'll be able to unpack from our nefty box. Never say die. It's funny, I've always been calling you never say it, and then somebody earlier said never say die because of the 13th. Yeah, okay, gotcha. You got uh, a pinup Warlords card. Mamonguja, you got a faded Mansuda. Yeah. Uh, Twaltar, 88, you got a KD Colorful. 25 would be Shardville, you got the Shrimp. 30th is Call Me Trader. You got a pack of three sketch cards. And then 40th and 50th, also get a pack of three sketch cards. And that will be Learn and Hustle. And... Cosmic Alien got the 50th. So there you go. Congrats. There we go, playing it again. Ba-doom, ba-doom, boom. Oops. You can go ahead and join that Grubbers again. We're going to do one more like that with just an assorted bunch of stuff before we leave here. The puzzle ends in 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes for it. Tufu's trying to play rock, paper, scissors. I don't know if I can make that right now, but pick somebody else. And look at this. We have a video from ASR164. Thanks for coming in, ASR. I, I wanted to, because in the past two events, we had some good scores too, but I was like, we need to show what tw a sub 22 looks like. Thanks for coming in here to do it and sending me some recordings. Uh, oh, and this is just the one attempt too, all right? So if you guys can see, <laughs> if you guys can see the Twitch and the, the screen share. Downloading pieces. Here she goes. So the only way to get that fast under 21 and stuff is every piece on pretty much exactly where it goes. Instinct. She's just like, boom, instinct. You saw she she did take a little split second to think there. They're not. It's not like a robot, but it's plenty enough to get to the sub 20. Boom shank. That's a, somebody in here. Boom shank, right? Boom shakalaka. <laughs> That's how you do it. Well done, ASR164. We also occasionally do a one versus one uh, puzzle that I live stream. We're going to do one at the end of the season two. ASR has competed before. She says, nah, Dan Esker says, nah, that's not normal, <laughs> right? <laughs> but if it was a robot, you wouldn't get those split second thought. You could see she's like, Oop, oh, that goes here. Oh, that goes here. Like, that's really good. We're going to see the next puzzle as well. And I'm also going to do one real quick. And then we'll do the other grub fish. Uh, oh, no, no, we're going to do right now. We're going to do the the draw. So here we go on that. Keep entering that grub. I also just need to go ahead and put the music on already. Quit, quit yammering. Let's just put on the record that uh, Breakman was afraid to play rock, paper, scissors with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can, somebody else can play. I'm multitasking a little bit over here. Yeah, all right. no, I'll go, bro. I'll go. Uh, bop, bop, bop. 
bop. And there we go. We have thirty people in here minus or twenty nine minus me. It's one entry per player. It wasn't multiple entries based on your score for for this part. All right. So we're gonna shuffle, and good luck. This is gonna be the Chupa Crab poster. The Chupa. <laughs> what is your waxed out farm name? It will be Sea Break. Level one and two, there's two farms. Sea break. Congratulations, there you go, Stargillnaz, who just asked that. Well, now you got yourself a poster that you can uh, put in there if you want. That one, uh, shoot, those ones don't stake, actually. You can stake that in Wombat, <laughs> or you can uh, blend it into a base card, and then that does stake, the base cards do. Chupa. All right, here we go. Next one is the Kraken. Oh, good luck. Oh, almost ran man, but no, not ran man. V V A S Y A V V K Vasayavk. <laughs> you got yourself the Kraken poster. Well done. All right. So we have five minutes left. We have five minutes left for the puzzle game. We're going to do the last grub fish as well before that. And then after it ends here, which will be at five minutes until the hour, I'll go ahead and do the leaderboard thing again. And we'll draw the last two winners. Uh, and then we'll raid over to online end. So I definitely appreciate this many people here. And I hope y'all come back too. follow the Twitch, play the games. We got those puzzle games here, right there. Digicons right here. Prizes from, uh, you can always hit the I button for the info on them to get the info. Double play. That's something too. So every two consecutive collab games in a row, which happen every week. So two weeks in a row that you solve a collab puzzle. You'll be entered into a drawing for five dollars, straight up, cash or wax. Uh, well, cash if you're in the U.S. because PayPal has no fees for that. Otherwise, wax. But there's a little incentive to have actual spending money as a prize if you solve two consecutive puzzles in a row. And I'll do all these draws on stream too, so they they go at the end of the Thursday stream. Thanks for the follow, you rule. So here, uh, the Digicon one has a has a. Prizes from Bees Gone Wild, Crypto Pups, Kelly Descope, whatever that is. And Mythical Varmints. So it's four prizes. And then here, Drawn Company, we got 101 players and 20 winners. 20 winners out of 101, which will get a pack that has three NFTs in it. Gotta go, says ASR. Nice playing with you. Thank you. I'm still gonna watch your final video here. Uh, I think I'll do it right now. Let's just do it right now. But you, you, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, thanks for showing us your mad scores. That's awesome. Thanks for playing, of course. ASR, of course, also has been with us for a before Wax. We actually launched in 2019 and had a bunch of cash prizes. Uh, it was investor supported. So some people like ASR, Puzzled Puzzler, Ran Man, were, were with us back then, and they came to Wax with me back in um, in January of this year. So shouts to them. Some of them, like Puzzled and Ran Man, have become extreme community members too, hitting up every single stream from every Wax streamer, and awesome, gotta love that. So here we have another puzzle. Nice of her to trim her best one into one video, right? So this is another one. This is that hybrid pair version. Look at how fast this one goes. Boom, 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 boom. This is her best out of, out of 10, though. She doesn't do this first try. This is the best attempt out of 10. She must have just recorded everyone and sent me the best. Boom. So everybody else is just slacking. <laughs> slacking. 2176. Well done, ASR164. And well done to everybody else that's in the 
um, sub 30 seconds too because that's really hard to do that 25 people in here now shouts asr slim z with a 26 vvs yvk under 30 ran man made it to 27 again well done fat b made it to 29 well done bentley hustle sweet candy dan asker puzzle demi berlin tissues pause babe a few people i don't know millate got an email address is his username nice i am cosmic madruja old mackey ivan silent one cluttered angel of free holes stargill nas first utopia and they're great one thank you keep on playing if you're not in here yet and let's do the final grub before the thing ends 46 people in it last chance exclamation mark playing your wallet the prizes is another slew of different ones actually it's the same ones again the same ones again first is the doge fellows fifth is a pack of one base card 10th pin up 15th faded 20th katie colorful 25th shrimp 30th 40th and 50th pack of three sketch cards do we have 50 no we're taking 50 off all right let's call to get in here boom 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 shakalaka there you go good luck use those commands this is the rng game but uh, we see a lot of the same people winning a lot and they do a lot of commands and there is some strategy involved with it because they're able to do that whether they're just spinning continuously or whatever it is they do and then you got skunky chunks over here that's like explode you got the explosion a little bit delayed on it but he's coming i've seen your command <laughs> pause babe with the command too oh maybe he died you died before the explosion. They saw you lighten up and like, the blade was like, no, not this time. Not this time, Chunks. <laughs> we actually played a different stream game earlier at Crypto Chibi's place. He's got his own themed one. It's, it's pretty neat, actually. Might be used in other streams at some point. Pause Babe is dead. It's all good. There's prizes from all over the leaderboard. You might just get it. You might just get it. We're down to Jehu leader, Demi Berlin, Tapioca, Cheap Patriot. And there we have it, Tapioca. Tapioca got the got the Doge Fellas pack. Those are cool NFTs, those are. I don't think I changed my stream name. It still says Doge Fellas, but I suppose it don't matter. Tapioca got the Doge. Uh, Fat Boy B got the uh, pack of one base card. Never Say Die Again got the pin up Warlords. Well done. Regib got the faded Monsuda. Chris VK again. You got the Katie Colorful. Utopia 780 with the shrimp. And then RDD Stone, a pack of three sketch cards. All right. Well done. I think it's about time for the puzzle to end if it's not already there. What are we looking like? Yep, we're in the last last minute. Let's let's get in it. If you're not already. That's the final grub. I will um I'm still going to draw those winners. The the, the two winners now will be a pack of one base card since this puzzle has all of them on it. So the pack will give you a random one out of the 10 base cards which have that utility of waxed out stake, wombat stake, weekly spin entry, and it's one of the 10 that you would need if you wanted to get into our blend race at the end of the season. And there is that chance, because it's a pack, you could get a shiny creature, which is really pretty and very, very limited. It's actually not capped though, because it's all minted on the Mad Packs, but it's, they're still very, very limited. Thanks for sharing the herbs, man. Yeah. All these cool accessories, including joints for our, for our stoner fam. <laughs> well, what a fun Digicon, everybody. Like, it's just been amazing. We still got a few hours left, but this weekend has been just phenomenal. I've, this is my third or fourth one and absolutely the best one I've been to. So, and I know others have said similar things. Some people, it's their first one. Skunky Chucks, Tony Trip. Oh, look, look at him. He just walked up from Cyber Vandal. Oh, it's not Tony, but what's up? <laughs> so we're very excited <laughs> about potentially continuing as well. Uh, people know at this point that Splinterlands is 
has is stopped stopping to do Digicon, and unfortunately they laid off people as well, including Waffles Kitty here. But we're the community has been talking, the projects have been talking. We're going to continue it. We don't know the details yet, but they will be coming. It might be a different name. We will absolutely continue and having these full day long events like we did this weekend. All right, so now we are done with the puzzle. It is gone. So I'm just going to now draw those two winners and we'll be done ski and we'll raid on out of here. Online in is next. That's right. I assume he's already on some on the on the streamers. So if not, we got we'll just head over to his booth then and wait for him. All right. So let me pull this thing up. And by the way, Splinter, it's not like Splinterlands wanted to do it. It's something that they have no choice over. They have a lot of promises they have to fulfill, and the, and the market is preventing that. So they have to just trim. They had a long talk about it. They've been very transparent. It's just unfortunate that the market is looking the way it is. But we will survive Digicon. We will continue. So don't worry about that. We are working on it. All right. All right. Yeah, thanks for the all the feedback. Any questions, comments? I hope so. I'm a bit late to all the cool projects. I'll, this this Digicon event has been exactly amazing for that. Discovering new projects. I've met so many people. We've got new users from it. Waffles Kitty has done a great job with Digicons. Yeah, she's not just this one. All of them in the past. She's been the, the one headlining it. So extreme shouts to you, Waffles. And I, I wanted to just be a lot more involved this time. It's good for our project. It's good for everything I want. So that's why we organized together this time. And it won't be the last. We'll continue organizing together. And I'm stoked for it. In fact, I think it's once we get there and have it all kind of situated, we do a few, I think it's better to where it's not like put on by specifically by one game or project. It's like a com literally a community, decentralized effort, projects working together, sponsoring halls. So that's kind of what we're looking at doing. All right, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready for the spins. To download this game, the Consumer Break, uh, it's in the App Store and Google Play. So it is an APK, but it's in the Google Play Store. Consumer break one word. Now you did miss the the event puzzles, but there's there's other puzzles down in the feed for prizes, and we have one every week. Every week, new collab. So it's not just like our NFTs. It's a different collab every week. Now next week, I'm where I'm highlighting the the pair, so there won't be. But then down the pipeline, Crypto Stash is going to come on, and Wombat, and Sasha, and Tales of the Crypto and P Pixtalgia, all of these are in the pipeline. So that's really awesome of the WAX projects to be fully collaborative and just open to doing that stuff. Skunky Chunks too, he's also going to be on. We already did Tony Trip, so. Puzzle Puzzler! Yep. Puzzle Puzzler is, is our mod, but she still wins stuff and is collecting. She's she's not paid. She's volunteer. She doesn't have access to any wallets or anything like that. She's only helping with like uh, mod type stuff. So congrats, you get a pack of one base card. Next, next. Tony's already messaged me asking me about. Yeah, Fed B. How? Wait a minute, Fed B. You literally won every day this weekend. You won the draw, the actual poster draw on Friday, Saturday, and now. Congratulations on that crazy, okay. crazy luck, man. So that's a pack of one base card. And that will do it. That will do the event. Let's see. I just want to make sure I get uh, get you written in here, Fat B. And thanks for playing. Uh, boop, boop. 
All right. Thanks for playing everybody. Fat B is one of our regular players for a little while. Uh, everybody else that's been doing it. Um, and then anybody new that's newer, maybe completely new from this weekend. Just absolutely much love that goes out to you for solving our puzzles and joining the streams, learning with us. Uh, and like I said at the beginning of the event, working up to the, that play count. When we can get up those play counts up and I can actually start getting real brands to listen, things will just be different. Things will change. Not only will it be good to onboard new people to Wax, but it will be rewarding people with cash straight up. Like they pay us to advertise. We split that with the winners. The advertiser gets their stuff memorized. So they would rather do that than other advertising methods. And it's just a big circle. And then when we can get that big and we have a lot of advertisers paying and coming in, then we can, uh, then we can release a token. We don't have a token. Uh, we will wait until we get bigger. I'll probably wait till I have teammates to help because I kind of do most of everything. And at that time, there'll be utility for token, but regardless, NFT prizes for days and hopefully cash and products prizes as well in the near future. I will give you a shout out on my streams too. You stream, pause, babe. Well, let's check that out then. <laughs> uh, yeah, any wax streamer, they, we still have some viewers in the stream. Uh, if you stream and you do wax stuff, especially if you give out prizes, I've, just definitely let, let us know. I'll follow. And if we ever are ending the stream and we see it live, we'll raid you and that stuff. So all about it. Yeah, we're here to support wax streamers. Tony Tripp's in here, Scott. You, do you ever stream too, Tufu? Do you yeah, we, we stream through, I stream through Skunky Jones. Okay, yeah, so there you go. We oh, love yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, you don't stream on Twitch. Okay, well, either way, you stream on... Oh, no, I do. I stream on oh, Twitch yeah, yeah. I'm through Skunky Chunks. Right. Like, Skunky Chunks is my... Yeah, sorry, I'm reading the Twitch comment. Pause Babe doesn't do Twitch. Uh, Skunky Chunks, yeah, on Twitch. Follow him. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. All right, a crypto streaming website, Pause Babe. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted to whisper either me or pu whisper Puzzled, Puzzle Puzzler, that link, she'll, po she'll post it. All right, so with that, I think uh, we need to head over to Online In. Yeah, it's officially started. So... Is he streaming? He is streaming, but I'm going to walk over there first. Are we that's, doing a train? That's how the, the Digi train exactly has operated. Uh, I'm not sure what room is he in. Let's find out. <laughs> Do anyone know? Mm. Boop, 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 boop. NFT Horizon NFT room. NFT Horizon. All right. So instead of toy po teleporting, I'm going to walk over there. Anybody's welcome to follow me to create the Digi train. Take whatever screenshots you want. If you take screenshots, make sure to put them on the Twitter and tag Digicon and ta uh, use the hashtag Digicon12, tag Consumer Break, and we'll we'll retweet that up, all right? So we'll see you at the online end. Oh, oh. Let's do it. <laughs> what a cool, fun event. Thank you all. Thank you all, everybody here. What a cool, fun event and Digicon weekend. Amazing. Blown away. Especially during the bear, you know, Every, a lot of people thought there wouldn't be much attendance because the, the crypto apocalypse is happening. But the wax fam, I've been saying it, you know, the wax fam don't care about no bears. We're here for for community and for projects, utility, games, fun. So that didn't bother us. We came, we came at Digicon. The attendees is over 1,200. I want to say like 1,300 or something. Um, so. Just props to everybody that, that came and participated in the events. High props. Shame it looks like... So I talked about that earlier, CQ Patriot. It is the last Digicon by Splinterlands. But we're already talking with multiple projects. We are going. We are working on continuing it. We don't know the details of when. Uh, but early next year. We don't know if we'll make January. We might have a different name. But there's, there's enough projects already to secure funding. So it will be coming back and we will continue. But it, it might be different because it won't be Splinterlands. What up, Fun Night In film? Um, I don't know what it was. But there's a bunch of prizes you can get in. I, uh, I'm sure somebody could drop the link if anybody needs it as well. All right. So with that, could... I don't know if you can hear me in. Can you hear me, Frazzle Dazzle? No, who's that? I'm just kidding. I can hear you, man. <laughs> well, we, Thanks, man. we just trained over to your booth, my guy. And I got over here 
something like 62 viewers or whatever, and I'm going to send them right over to you to continue the party. Uh, nice, man. Yeah, man. I'm surprised it, so many people came in my channel earlier for just like a 10-minute stream. Oh, that's, like, that's crazy. Love. You get yeah, yeah, you get so much love on your streams. It's just it's amazing. Just absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I'll pass the baton over to Frazzle, the online in. Uh, he's going to have a full hour here of prizes and, and hang out and whatever we want to do. After that, there is yeah. Avalon, the game, which he streams, and it's a very high-quality game we'll check out. So there's a few more hours to go still. Yeah, I definitely want to raid it over there if he's on Twitch. I'm not sure. But uh, he was, I watched he, he, you he was with streaming. the interview. Oh, okay. Oh, right, the, the one we did. Yeah, on Friday he was streaming to show it because the quality was good, better. So he'll, he'll do that again. All right. Yeah, so I minted out a bunch of my older stuff. 